you want to win $25,000 to improve your home. We'll tell you how you can sign up to win. And if you stay tuned, we'll give you the chance to win $1,000 before our show is even over. Outdated picture frames don't belong in the trash. We'll show you the steps to turn something ugly into something beautiful. And right now, you can go shopping for a good cause. We'll tell you what local organization you can support with a little retail shopping. Now, from Studio 41 on the Country Club Plaza, this is Kansas City Live. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us for Kansas City Live. I'm Michelle Davidson. Hey, and I'm Michael Mackey. Good morning. It is a lovely day out, and it's going to be 90 this weekend. Finally, pool weather is here. Is that, your, is that the best time of year for you, like your favorite time, the ideal time? Yes, pool. Pool weather. Yes. <laughs> I love like spring, like in between that, like when it gets too hot and it's just beautiful and the flowers are blooming. We didn't really have a spring. It no. went from like snowing to <laughs> hot to storming, now to hot. Now to pool. Now mm -hmm. to pool okay, for you. Cool. <laughs> All right, well, America's Voice has been heard. NBC's singing competition series crowned a new champion last night. Okay, it came down to a pop rocker from Massachusetts and a young country singer from Texas. The winner of The Voice is Danielle Bradbury. Bradbury is 16 years old and had rarely performed in public before her voice audition. Now she's made history as the show's youngest winner. Yeah, her coach, country star Blake Shelton, says he's confident superstardom is ahead for Danielle. Michelle Chamuel was the runner-up, and the Swan Brothers finished third. Now the finalists all won cars. Nice. Even though Bradbury, um, she doesn't even have her driver's <laughs> license yet. Okay, she says she plans to take care of that very soon, now that she's finished with The Voice. She can be like a regular teenager and go... Pass the driver's test. Exactly. The night also featured performances from voice coach Christina Aguilera, Pitbull, Bruno Mars, and even Cher. Oh, Cher sang a song <laughs> from her new album with some sort of weird peacock headdress. I don't even. It did was, it work for her? It, it did. She strutted her stuff still. I love Cher. She's got to be 104. No, you don't. I do. I, I cannot believe that. <laughs> she's she's got to be 104, but she looks good. And she still cranked it out last night. There were a few mic problems, though. You could tell she was a little. It wasn't her fault. No, it wasn't her fault. Mm, mm -mm. She was a little ticked off, though. Poor Cher. <laughs> Cher, oh, I'm All saying. right, Danielle's victory was also uh, Coach Blake Shelton's um, third voice title in a row. So we wanted to know, uh, is he the best voice coach, or do you have another favorite? Yeah, were you happy to see Christina last night, knowing she's going to be back as a judge in the fall? Or maybe you're Team Adam or Team Shakira? Well, we want to know, yep. Yep, let us know on Facebook. Uh, just go to facebook.com slash TV, and you can chime in with our KC Live poll. I'm excited, though, that a teenager won because she's amazing now. What is she going to be like in, like, five years? When she hones her skills. And I mean, she... she's just going to get better and better. It's exciting. She, it but, there, but the folks, though, that like the other contestants, Swan Brothers and Michelle, they were not happy. Oh, no. No, no they weren't. Who's your favorite judge? I'm Team Shakira all the way. I thought I got a big kick out of her this season. I don't really have a favorite. I, I think Christina Aguilar just because she's kind of the uncertain one. What is she going to say? What yeah, is she going to do? She's the Paula Abdul. I like, I like the spontaneity involved with Christina Aguilar. <laughs> Duly noted. <laughs> well, it's Wednesday, June 19th. Let's take a look at uh, some of those odd national holidays happening today. The first one is a little bit weird. It's um, World Sauntering Day. <clears throat> Is that your sauntering? I'm sauntering. I, it's like, like a, is that a dance move? No, I think it's like a, you walk like slowly, you, like you're like, lazy. It's like an you're amble. You're sauntering around. You're ambling. It's don't be in a rush today. You can saunter everywhere you go. <laughs> I'm sauntering. I'm very, Unless you're a firefighter, no sauntering. No sauntering. Yes. Well, if you enjoy your daily dose of comic strips, it's Garfield the Cat Day. The lasagna-loving feline debuted back on this day in 1978. Okay. It's yes. also uh, Juneteenth. A holiday that is observed in 42 states in the U.S. It commemorates the announcement of the abolition of slavery in the U.S. state of Texas in 1865. June, Juneteenth. It's also Freedom Day and Emancipation Day. Hmm. Like the, kind of the same day, but different names. All right, cool. And because we both love Mad Men so much. We is, do. Is this I, the season finale, the series finale, is this Sunday. Yes. This, okay. So you need to get out mm -hmm. your... My... Oh! Well, it's National Mar Dry Martini Day. I didn't know where you were I going with that. I set you up. You did, and I failed. <laughs> Woof, missed it. It's National Dry Martini Day, people. 
So if you're going to watch Mad Men, enjoy it with a dry martini. You can if you have it, it on your DVR and you're trying to catch up, now's, I, now's yeah, a chance I'm, to partake. I'm like three episodes behind. Say nothing. I don't want to know. La, la, okay. la, la. Well, it is the most inexpensive home you will ever buy, but it's worth $550,000. We're talking about the St. Jude Dream Home. The amazing house is at 1225 Kingsland Circle in Raymore. You could win it by buying a $100 ticket. Now, all the money raised goes towards St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. Now, help the children, doctors, and researchers out by calling 1-800-385-9756. Such a great cause. Amazing work is happening down there. And it takes a lot of money to run that hospital, but no one pays a bill. Not so a we're dime. doing our part. Yep. And you can win a house. Exactly. And in case you want to see this house in person, we've added some open house hours. Yeah, you can tour the home from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Today through Saturday. That's every day between now and that big giveaway, big giveaway. on Sunday morning. Once again, again the number is 1 uh, 800 385 9756. It's $100 going to a great cause. I know. And you can get a beautiful new home. Woo! Well, it's your chance to show off your favorite pictures on our show. We want to see your proud pics. Your proud pics. So send us your favorite photo from a day of, you know, if you're on vacation or maybe you're finishing a race or graduation. Graduations are, you mm -hmm. know, they're all happening. We also love the funny photos of kids, dogs, I don't know. Grandpa, grandpas. Grandpas. Anything that just makes you laugh or smile. We like sarcastic pictures. We like funny ones. We like serious ones too. Your weird Uncle Inspiring Earl. Ones. Weird Uncle Earl. I'm just saying. <laughs> if you if you if you have a photo you want to send to us, go to Casey Live TV, our website, CaseyLive.tv, and click on the Proud Picks graphic. That's yeah. all you got to do. And don't forget to give us all of the details about what's going on in the picture, who we're seeing. We love to share those proud, mo proud moments. Yes. If you don't tell us what's going on, we just make up stuff mm -hmm. in the picture. That's what we do. That's what well, we do. Well, we're going on the field for Sporting Casey. <laughs> you are. That was I awesome. Did. I, I did. Um, and how about um, your shopping dollars can help a local group? Yep. And we have some great guests waiting in the wings, including this daring duo in our green room right now. <laughs> You've probably seen them in movies like Super Troopers. We're to see what they're up to now. Plus, we're pan frying pork chops in the KC Live kitchen. It's something you could easily make at home tonight for dinner. Yum Stay with us. Oh, yummo.